الذين ينضموا للاستماع الى راديو بلدي او الراديو العربي الامريكي ويعنى بقضايا العرب في المهجر. برامجنا في راديو بلدي كل يوم جمعه من الثامنه وحتى التاسعه صباحا مع ليلى الحسيني في بث حي ومباشر عبر دبليو ان زي كي راديو 690 اي ام صباح الخير بلدي صباح الخير لكل مستمعينا. Welcome to Radio Baladi, the first Arab, Middle Eastern and American simulcast radio show. Radio Baladi is broadcast every Friday morning on WNCK 690 AM from 8 until 9 Eastern Time on Good Morning Michigan with Layla Al Husseini. Our call in number 248-557-3300. And now, stay tuned for the best radio talk show on Arab and American issues with your host, Layla Al Husseini. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. My name is Khalil Hashim. I'm the executive editor of VMMichigan.com, and I'm your host for today's show, Your Local Connection. We focus on issues that are important to you, and we hope to answer any questions you have about homes, home buying, public policy, food, nutrition, exercise, and any other topics on your mind. U.S. Arab Radio is one of the best ethnic radios in North America, and we are glad that you tuned in and you are with us today. Thank you for your time and listening. The number here is 248-557-3300. Give us a call if you have a comment or a question. Today is Friday, April 28, 2017. The weather is a bit cold and it is expected to be nice today, the normal spring day. It is a little bit cloudy and we may have some rain in the evening and maybe some tomorrow. But you know what? This is Michigan, and we're glad that uh, you're with us, and we're also glad that we don't have to shovel snow or deal with any other extreme weathers in other parts of the country. We have a great program for you today. We are going to be talking about spring cleanup outside, outside your home, that is, and how to make your yard looking good or better and ready for the summer now that the winter has departed. You know, spring clean or clean up. Uh, isn't just for the inside of the home. When the winter winds down, you know, we always try to put some work outside, make it look nice, you know, make the yard look nice, and clean up the grease or dead, overgrown vegetation, and whatever we need to do. And uh, good morning, Jim. We have Jim with us from uh, English Garden. Hello, good morning. How are you? Thank you so much for being with us. No problem. Could you please tell us a little bit about you and a little bit about English Gardens for our listeners? Uh, sure. Uh, I've been uh, in the landscape industry since 1993. I graduated from Michigan State uh, with a degree in horticulture and uh, basically have worked in the industry ever since. Uh, so I've been doing it quite some time now. How many? Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, English Gardens. English Gardens is a retail uh, nursery and garden center that transitions to a holiday store in the, in the, in the winter months. Uh, we've been around since 1954. Uh, the first store is our store uh, in Dearborn Heights on uh, Ford Road and Outer Drive. And yep, then we've yep. kind of grown from there, and we're, we have the six retail stores uh, all throughout Metro Detroit and a store in Ann Arbor as well. It is family-owned, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, um, when we start, like, you know, winter is gone, we start working, the first thing we're going to start with is the lawn. What can we do to ensure, you know, the right steps to make sure that we have a good lawn? Uh, the first step is to, if you haven't done it yet, you're probably going to need to mow it already because, you know, it started to grow. Uh, mm -hmm. In that mowing process, you're going to want to go through a little dethatching, which is getting out any of the old or dead uh, grass. Out. How do you do that? Uh, with a rake, uh, or okay. if you have a, of a good power mower, uh, it, it may do it itself. So you just have to kind of take a look and uh, investigate if you've got some brown patches, uh, what to do with that. If you have some brown, the dethatching process, a nice sturdy rake, rake it out, uh, and then you can do just a little bit of uh, top dress with a little bit of either peat moss or a really light topsoil mix and then you mm -hmm. put down some grass seed and get that going. Okay. Now, normally, if you have these kind of patches, is, is that a sign that you have uh, grubs? Uh, it, it can be insect-related, uh, uh, or it can be just uh, winter damage, uh, snow, ice, 
um, okay. Or, okay. or salt uh, will sometimes actually uh, damage the turf. So mm -hmm. if, if you think of your lawn as like basically thousands and thousands of little plants, because each one of those little blades of grass is actually an individual plant. So, sure. Uh, sure. you know, when you get big damage, there's probably an insect damage uh, related type issue, uh, and then you're probably going to have to go through and do a, a chemical treatment and or a replacement of that area. Yeah. Is it, is it normally the culprit, those little grubs, they're like, uh, you know, worms-like? Uh, that, that is, uh, well, there's disease and funguses as well, but uh, primarily uh, it is the grubs, yeah. Okay, okay. Now here's, here's the debate. When is the best time to cut a lawn? Best time to cut a lawn? Yeah. Uh, during the day. During the day, you want to do it uh, either earlier in the day or later in the day. You don't want to do it at peak heat. Uh, because, Why not? Uh, because it will actually stress the lawn. Uh, okay. Again, that's thousands of little plants, and so in the in the peak of the day, if you're uh, cutting it, which kind of stresses it out a little bit, okay. uh, it, it can do damage and burn the tips of those little plants. So uh, kind of earlier in the day or later in the day uh, is good. If you have to do it midday, uh, cooling the lawn down by watering it afterwards is a good idea. Okay. Now, how short would you cut it? Uh, you want to cut it at about two inches. Two inches. You know, uh, my, my neighbor keeps telling me that do not use the vacuum when you cut the lawn because the trimmings have a lot of nutrients in them, but they don't right. look good. What, right. What's the, uh, uh, if, if you, the best thing is to get a mulching mower, which actually uh, cuts it up even finer and then puts those little pieces back down into the turf. Uh, but yeah, as far as the, the bagging, non-bagging uh, issue, the the biggest thing is it, it is unsightly uh, and can be um, construed as a little bit messy. So um, doesn't it, doesn't it suffocate the lawn though? I mean, you know, all that debris. No, no. It actually it, it actually does break down and it does uh, put nutrients back into the soil and into the into the the lawn so that it can uh, take up those nutrients. Mm -hmm. And how how do you keep it green? Uh, fertilizing. Uh, how often? Basically, if you look at it, the kind of the, the major holidays of the season. So uh, you want to put down like a crabgrass preventer uh, right now because actually you want to use Easter as kind of your guideline uh, to okay. put that down. So we're a couple weeks past Easter. Uh, but a crabgrass and broadleaf uh, preventer needs to go down uh, early season. And then mm -hmm. you start looking at the calendar and go, uh, and we use a four-step the Scott's four-step is what we recommend. Um, and then you look at Memorial Day, and then you look at Fourth okay. of July, and then you mm -hmm. look at Labor Day. So those are the times that you would put down each one of those steps. So four, four times a season. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's if you're doing it yourself. If you want to hire somebody to, to do that, um, they come out. They a know couple, what to do. Yep, they come out a couple more times uh, and, and do really specific uh, treatments. Now, you know, I see on the market this uh, weed and feed and all of that. Do they really weed and feed? Do they really work? Yes, they do. So it is, they, they do deliver, you know, on, on the promise. Yes. Yep, for sure. Okay. Uh, it, you know, and I just noticed on my lawn, I, I use the Scott's four-step program, and then my neighbor doesn't do anything. And the amount of uh, just odd, you know, plants that are in his lawn, like clover and violets and dandelions and all that, yeah. versus yeah. mine that has very little except for the stuff from his lawn that comes over to mine, so. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that is that is the problem is when, when you take care of your lawn and your, your neighbors don't. And, you know, you're gonna, they're going to migrate to yours, but not if you you know if you control it, it's not going to be as bad. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, you can keep it at bay. Yeah, yeah. Are there any natural, organic uh, method that you can control weeds without using chemicals? Yes. Uh, corn gluten is... Uh, one of the prescribed and best ways. Uh, we do carry that at all of our stores. Uh, okay. and, but it does take a little bit of time. Uh, it needs to build up a residual, uh, and you need to apply, I believe, every three to four weeks with that product. Uh, and it does take what's a little it, bit of time. What's it made of? Uh, it's actually made out of corn, and it's, a, uh, it, it's called corn gluten, so it's corn sugars, and mm -hmm. it's, uh, it kind of uh, 
I don't know the actual reaction, but it, it, it does uh, keep, it, it fertilizes as well as keeps weeds at bay. Wonderful. Now, when we go to plants, yes. uh, you know, the best recommendations would be, you know, to pull out the, the, the old ones, put new ones, revive the, the soil. What's, what's the best, the best strategy there? Well, the best strategy is to start with a plan. So you want to okay. you want to get somebody out there that knows what they're doing. So you're not just wasting time and wasting money trying to figure out what works for you. So okay. I always use the analogy. You know, you wouldn't build a house without a plan. So why would you attack your landscape without you know a plan or an idea of what you got going on? So that's exactly. my first exactly. recommendation. Okay. And then once and you figure out soil conditions and you figure out uh, sun shade exposure. Um, as well as uh, do you have an irrigation system or not. Uh, those are all factors that are taken into account and in how much maintenance is, you know, low maintenance versus no maintenance versus, you know, I love to garden. Take all those ideas into account and then you can come up with a pretty good plant palette for somebody and uh, start making recommendations. Absolutely. And, and, you know, you remove old plants and, you know, check to see if you need to fertilize the, the soil you know, after you put in the plant together, if you want to do it yourself, and and uh, you know, from, uh, when it comes to roses, and, and my wife and I always have this debate, and I always like to cut them as much as possible and let them come out and generate, and she wants to keep them really high. You know, what what's the recommendation there? Uh, the recommendation on like a hybrid tea rose or an old-fashioned rose is to take it down to uh, where you have five leaves versus three leaves. Okay. And that can be really low on the, the stock, or it, it can be up a little bit higher. It really depends on the, the individual plant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, if you keep cutting it, then it's going to get rounder instead of shooting up. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. okay. With the, which which will, give you, there, will give you more roses this way. Yes. And there's some wonderful, like, carefree or uh, very little care roses on the market now. Um, okay. that are, are very, very easy. So you can still get the beautiful blooms and not have to do as much work to them. You won't have to use any of the rose pow powder or any of that stuff. Uh, and those oh, are okay. the, yeah. the knockout roses or shrub mm -hmm. roses, uh, mm -hmm. which are a very nice option. You know, here's, here's a plant I love, but it's, it's a nightmare to take care of, and that's gardenias. Yeah. They're, they're just so temperamental, you know, and I, it, they just don't survive. I don't know why. Uh, it, it's purely climate-related. Uh, Michigan is not, uh, you know, as tropical as Conducive, we would wish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's yeah. not really suited for the, the gardenia. So yeah. you have to kind of look at the gardenias as an annual, and sometimes uh, even if you're considering an annual, it's only going to be for a couple weeks. And, you know, it, it, unfortunately you have to look at it as almost a disposable plant in our, in our climate and our market. Uh, okay, if you get I further see. south, you know, they, you can actually plant them in the landscape, and they do pretty well, uh, but it, definitely not here. Yeah. And lastly, you know, fruit trees. Yep. When, when is the best time to spray? Should you spray or not? Uh, I, we, we do definitely recommend spraying, and uh, you, you want to do that in, right about now. Uh, okay. Your, your flowers are uh, emerging uh, and, and leaves are emerging. You want to make sure that the your insects don't get uh, a stronghold on the plants and start doing damage to your fruit production. Sure. Now, are we spraying the the, the flowers? Or are we spraying the the branches? Uh, the everything? branches and the foliage, so the leaves. Oh, the leaves. And those those little uh, are they like you know little moth? What are they? They go into apples. Uh, a, a whole sort of host of things, but yeah, um, you know it can be. Uh, a, either like a little soft fly or um, they, they have a, a whole host of, <laughs> of organisms yeah, yeah, that they'll yeah. get to them. So. You know, you, know uh, uh, you guys have a really nice selection, whether it is the fruit trees or flowers. You know, sometimes I may pay a little bit more, but I always get really good, good products from your stores. And I really appreciate your uh, trained uh, staff because they answer all questions that, that, you know, and I go there with a lot of questions. Well, good. You know, <laughs> bless, bless, bless their hearts, and they do answer all of them. I, re I really, really appreciate it. Is there anything I haven't asked you in regard to, you know, taking care of the outside? 
Uh, as far as just um, some general advice on a, a spring cleanup, uh, you know, getting any of that uh, old leaf debris out of your beds. Um, the, you can get a lot of impact just by cleaning up, like, your bed edge and mm -hmm. mulching. If you do those two things, your landscape can look really, really nice and tidy. Uh, mm -hmm. and it, it doesn't take a ton of time or effort. So that would mm -hmm. be my biggest recommendation for somebody that's just, like, they're not sure what to start with. That would be the okay. first place. You know, just put a nice, clean edge uh, along your planting bed so you have that definition between lawn and, and bed space. And then if you put down some new mulch, all of a sudden things are looking clean and tidy, and that'll get you through until you can start planting some annual color, you know, after Mother's Day when the, the uh, fear of frost is gone. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, we uh, we have, a, you know, a Jerry on the line. He has a quick question for you. Go ahead, Jerry. Good morning. Jerry? We just good lost morning. Jerry. Okay. Uh, Jerry is gone. Jim, I really, really want to thank you for being with us. Uh, this has been a, 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 a great information. And uh, remind us of the locations and the website. If people have any questions, they can, uh, you know, stop by or they can log in to, uh, to see information on the website. Certainly. Uh, our locations are in Dearborn Heights, uh, mm -hmm. West Bloomfield, East Point, Clinton Township, Royal Oak, and Ann Arbor. And then we have our landscape company who I work for, and we actually service all six of those stores, and we actually work out of Pontiac. So mm -hmm. we're in mm -hmm. a nice central hub. And the website is www.englishgardens.com. Thank you so much, Jim. We really appreciate your being with us, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thanks. You too. I'm going to take a break. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned. It's never too early to get your child on the right track. From their first words to first grade, Dreamy Children's Center in Troy works closely with parents to provide an experience that goes beyond early education. The highly qualified and experienced staff use a variety of programs that can help nurture important personality traits like responsibility, independence, problem solving, motivation, and respect. They also have educational programs ranging from preschooling for infants, toddlers, transitional toddlers, and pre-K to Montessori approved programs and bilingual curriculums for young children. They're open from 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., can provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner with snacks in between, and can also arrange for after-school pickup. Dreamy Children's Center in Troy is located at 37373 Dequinder, just above 16 Mile Road, and can be found on Facebook at Dreamy Children's Center. Ask about the free preschool program. Call today, 248-680-9170, 248-680-9170. Vibe in Detroit these days, the same vibe that's at Mary Grove College. We've got great career-oriented degrees that will put you on a path to your future on campus and online. Why not explore Mary Grove? You can start college this spring. Go to marygrove.edu or call 313-927-1240 to get more information. International students pay the same rate as domestic students and let us empower you. Ziad Brand. Quality products from our family to yours. Ziad Brothers Importing offers the finest quality products, including brands like Sultan, Kraft, Nestle, Hook, Rico Picon, Donna, and many more. Ask your retailer to carry these fine products because you deserve the very best. For more information, visit our website at www.ziad.com. That's www.ziad.com. Ziad, quality products from our family to yours. Welcome to the United States. Please proceed to the passport control. ماذا يقول؟ إلى أين أذهب؟ ماذا علي أن أفعل؟ لو سمحت، هل تساعدني؟ ماذا قال هذا الرجل في الإعلان؟ ألا تعرف الإنجليزية؟ أعرف ولكن أساسيات فقط. عليك بتعلم اللغة. ولكن أين؟ يوتيكا كوميونيتي سكول اي اس ال بروجرام اساتذه متخصصون منهج متميز يمكنك التسجيل طوال العام لرسوم التسجيل ومواعيد الفصول الدراسيه عليك الاتصال بالهاتف رقم 5867976960 5867976960 تحدث اللغه وتعلم نمط الحياه مع يوتيكا كوميونيتي سكول اي اس ال بروجرام تعلم تحدث واكثر
Are you going to start a restaurant or a grocery store soon? Do you need floor plans and designs? Call Naji Abood at 734-744-9796. Do you want to buy kitchen and restaurant equipment at discount prices? Call Naji Abood now, 734-744-9796. New concept products and design, the trademark of kitchen equipment. 5% discount on all purchases of $75,000 or more. New concept products and design. New location, 31185 Schoolcraft in Livonia. Learn more at www.newconceptproducts.com. Call Naji Abood, 734-744-9796. Welcome back and thank you for being with us. The number here is 248-557-3300. We started talking about uh, spring cleanup in the outside. And uh, uh, good morning, Maria. Is Maria with us? Hi. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Maria thank you. is, is uh, uh, with Mortgage One. Tell us a little bit about you, Maria, and, and your firm, if you don't mind. Yes, well, we are a lender. Uh, mm -hmm. We we offer FHA, which is the first time home buyer program, uh, conventional VA for veterans. Um, we also offer 203K loans, which are rehab loans as well. Um, we have been a lender for many, many, many years. I've also been in the business for over 17 years as well uh, in the mortgage industry. What's new today about loans? You know, uh, uh, is interest moving up? Uh, what 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 do people need to know? Well, interest rates have gone up. Yes, uh, the Feds are talking about raising the interest rates um, another you know another two times this year. Um, since since last September, they have gone up. Uh, recently, they've been kind of steady, but the market changes every day. So we, we hope that uh, things are going to stay steady. However, there's, there's no telling. But they are they are talking about raising the rates again. So right now, a typical conventional loan, I would say, would be somewhere in the mid four percentage range, depending on credit scores. FHA, which is, is still low. which is still pretty good. Which is still good, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, which still is still pretty good. good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who, who can get a loan? Well, um, you know, we do offer lower credit score program. So, you know, as long as the income is there and the debt ratio works, um, the credit scores, we can go down to a 580 credit score. Uh, so, obviously, it depends on, you know, how the credit looks. But, um, you know, pretty much anybody can get a loan these days. Sure, sure. What's the debt ratio for those who are not familiar with that? Well, the debt ratio depends on what what's on your credit report. That's meaning credit card payments. Um, installment loans, uh, credit, uh, car payments, lease payments. Uh, depending on the income that your gross monthly income will depend on your debt ratio. So typically on an FHA mortgage, we can go all the way up to as high as 50% debt ratio. Uh, conventional, they're a little bit stricter, so they want to they want to see you you know no nowhere above 45% range. So basically, you're calculating your expenses and bills versus your income. Correct. Exactly. And, yeah. And 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 is there like a formula where it needs to be thirty, seventy, forty, sixty? What's what's the formula sometimes? Well, the formula. Or, or depending on the program. Yeah, depending on the program, just pretty much just calculating all of your debts and dividing it by your income is pretty much the formula, and then it'll it'll you know you come up with a percent rate range. You know, um, working working with you, um, you take great deal of time to really work with clients you know, where others really don't do that. You know, wh why do you do that? Well, I, yeah, I, I care about people. I really want to get them into a home. <clears throat> um, a lot of times, you know, people are first-time home buyers. So yeah, I, I, create, yeah, yeah. I, I, I care about them. So I, I do take some time. Um, if, if there's some issues, I do work through files um, with, with issues. Uh, so sometimes, you know, there may be, some credit issues, or even an income issue, where a co you know, wanting to bring a co on, on the loan. So, yeah. you know, I like to work with people and through the file to make sure that they do qualify. And if they don't qualify at this time, I still continue to work with them because eventually, you know, in the near future, they they will qualify at one point. 
Sure. So normally when I come to you, I should have at least two years of taxes. Is that correct? Yeah, typically it's two years of taxes. And then we do offer some other programs, but mainly it's two years tax returns, two years W-2s, uh, business returns, or 1099 income, depending on what the scenario is. It, it, yeah, exactly, exactly. But mm -hmm. in all general speaking, the two-year taxes is, is, is important. Correct, yes, it's very important, yes. Okay. Now, yes. are there like other programs, estate programs, you know, like MISHTA and others that could help first-time buyers? Yes, there's a MISHTA program. Um, now, this MISHTA program was designed for first-time home buyers, um, essentially. However, they mm -hmm. have come up with another program where if you have owned a home in the past, you do still qualify for state assistance. And what that is is a down payment assistance program. So they offer, now the first time home buyers, they offer up to 75%, I'm sorry, $7,500 um, towards your down payment and closing costs. The wow. Mission Next program, yes, it's, very, it's a very good program. The Mission Next program offers up to 4% of the purchase price. So, uh, example, if you have a $100,000 purchase price, 4% does give you up to $4,000 to go towards your down payment and closing costs. This now is they're, basically you know, they're, a perpetual loan, is that correct? It's not really, I mean, uh, give away money. No, it's not. Well, you, you have to stay in the home for at least five years. You're not allowed to sell that home or, you know, for, for at least five years is, is typically what their guidelines are. Okay. Um, but it's... It's designed for, you know, down payment assistance, and this is a government, you know, the FHA government loan is what this, this is designed for. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, they want to they create the stable neighborhoods. They don't want people to come and go into a neighborhood, which is, it makes a lot of sense. Exactly. And, of course, there are guidelines to this program that we have to follow. Um, there's income limits as well. Uh, depending on your income and how many people are in the household will depend on what areas you qualify for. Is that what they call target areas? Yes, targeted and non-targeted areas, correct. Okay. And, and, and you know, Dearborn, Dearborn Heights, these are target areas? Correct, yes. Okay. Yep. Now, when, when, when applying for a loan, what, what not to do? What, what are the things I shouldn't do to jeopardize, you know, getting a loan? Well, uh, yes, that's a good question. Um, basically, you know, switching jobs. Um, biggest thing is if you're... If you're a W-2 employee, you know, you don't want to switch to a 100% commission employee. You know, that, that, would, that would be a big no-no. Um, other things would be opening up credits, um, uh, getting, you know, getting some line of credits or getting some new credit cards or even shopping for a vehicle that really drops your scores. When people shop for vehicles for lease, uh, for lease uh, cars, they do drop your credit scores uh, for some reason. Um, so. Those are some of the major things that you don't want to do. Another big thing is cash deposits. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you don't want to you don't want to deposit a large amount of cash and take amount of cash out of your your checking account. Correct. Correct. They really uh, scrutinize on cash deposits. Um, they cannot be verified. We can't source them. We can't verify them. Um, so at, at that point, we cannot use any cash deposits that are in the bank account. You know, sometimes uh, clients come to me and, and they tell me that they work for themselves and then they give me all these wild numbers and and then, you know, when it comes to really getting the paperwork to match it and they don't match, uh, mm -hmm. and how, how important is that? <clears throat> well, that would be <laughs> a good question as well. Sometimes people are, if they're 1099 income um, and they're you know, they're depositing uh, funds into their account, they should probably have, like, a business account, you know, because that would make more sense. Sure, or even sure. if they were self-employed and they're, they're depositing uh, cash, you should, you should probably open up a business account in order to, sure. you know, to fund that account. That, and that would look better on paper. And, 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 you know, make sure whatever, you know, income that you're reporting matches what you're really saying that you make or you think you Absolutely. make. Absolutely. Yeah, the income yeah, is yeah. very important. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, I make 50000 60000 but in reality, when you look at their, their 1040 or whatever it is, their, their, you know, they end up their, their income is a lot less than that because of the deductions that they have. 
Exactly. And, and, and again, they don't understand that. It's like, you know, it doesn't matter how much you make. It's the deductions that you're taking. They're going to come back and haunt you. Yes, yes. And I find that happening a lot with 1099 borrowers. Um, because your 1099 states 100000 let's say, and then you deducted 50000 60000 you know, that we have to go off of the net income, not the gross income at that point. Exactly. Exactly. And even with this is what you're bringing in. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Is yeah. there anything I haven't asked you that people need to know in regard to loans? Well, just that basically, you know, we're into the springtime. People are looking for hot homes. And I just say the biggest thing is just start getting pre-approved, uh, you know, Getting pre-approved is very, very important because there may be something on your credit or there may be, may be an income issue or something that you don't know of that, you know, you need to may, be made aware of in order to fix that issue before, before you know, searching for a home and finding something that you like. So I would just suggest to, strongly suggest just to get pre-qualified as soon as possible if you are in the market for looking, looking for a home. Wonderful. Well, we really want to thank you for being with us. And how can people get in touch with you? Um, my cell phone, 313-971-6822. My office is in Dearborn Heights. I'm on Beach Daily. That address is 2222 North Beach Daily, suite number two. Again, my cell phone is, is probably the best best bet. I know that you're taking a trip, and, and we want to thank yes. you for taking the time to be with us. Uh, this has been really you. wonderful, wonderful information. Thanks again for being with us. Have a, have a safe trip. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank Please you. Stay tuned. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Life for Relief and Development is a nonprofit charity that has been providing humanitarian aid and development to people and communities regardless of race, color, religion, or cultural background for over 22 years. When disaster occurs here or around the world, Life rushes to provide food, medical aid, and shelter to those in need. Life also has development projects that provide medical relief, water purification, educational programs, relief for orphans, and much more. Your help and support can greatly improve these efforts. All donations are tax deductible. For more information, please visit our website at lifeusa.org or call 248-424-7493. That's lifeusa.org, 248-424-7493. When it comes to reproductive medicine, IVF Michigan Fertility Centers are the recognized leaders. With locations in Bloomfield Hills and five other cities in Michigan and Ohio, IVF has experts in all aspects of the field. As a founding member of IVF Michigan Fertility Centers, Dr. Nicholas Shama is one of the leading reproductive endocrinologists in Michigan and Ohio. Dr. Shama has performed over 10,000 IVF cases and has helped thousands of couples fulfill their dreams of parenthood. American Board Certified in both obstetrics and gynecology and reproductive endocrinology and infertility, Dr. Nicholas Shama is a very caring, compassionate, expert physician that understands not only the medical but also the emotional toil of infertility on his patients. When it's time, get personalized care from Dr. Nicholas Shama at IVF Michigan Fertility Centers in Michigan and Ohio. Call toll-free 855-952-9600, 855-952-9600. When you're looking for the best in optical care, Dr. Iman Nakash is your doctor to see. With years of experience and thousands of successful procedures performed, you can trust your eyes to Dr. Iman Nakash. See Dr. Iman Nakash and his professional staff for your eye care needs. There's two locations to serve you. In Hazel Park, call 248-336-3937. 248-336-3937. In Rochester Hills, call 248-299-3937. That's 248-299-3937. Welcome to the United States. Please proceed to the passport هل تساعدني؟ ماذا قال هذا الرجل في الإعلان؟ ألا تعرف الإنجليزية؟ أعرف ولكن أساسيات فقط عليك بتعلم اللغة ولكن أين؟ يوتيكا كوميونيتي سكول اي اس ال بروجرام اساتذه متخصصون منهج متميز يمكنك التسجيل طوال العام لرسوم التسجيل ومواعيد الفصول الدراسيه عليك الاتصال بالهاتف رقم 
5867960 تحدث اللغة وتعلم نمط الحياة مع يوتيكا كوميونيتي سكول اي اس ال بروجرام تعلم تحدث واكثر A car accident can change your life in an instant. As a result of a car accident, you may become unemployed. As a result of a car accident, you may need a lot of medical treatment. People think that insurance companies are on their side. Why? Because they're giving them one or two benefits. Are they giving them all the benefits they deserve? How would one know unless you consult with an attorney? Call the law offices of Jumana Kiruz at 248-557-3645. 248-557-3645. Welcome back. Uh, this is Khalil Hashim. The number here is 248-557-3300. If you have a question about uh, yards, uh, loans, uh, or buying a home, give us a call today. The program is uh, is uh, basically centered about uh, home and home buying and uh, mortgages and taking care of the yard. As you well know, um, you know, being besides being an executive editor of yeah, Michigan.com, which is, includes a lot of information about home buying and how to take care of your home. Also, I, you know, sell uh, real estate with the, uh, the, the, I'm part of the signature group in Dearborn on uh, Ford Road and Beach, uh, on uh, Ford Road and Telegraph, that is. Uh, we have a, a, a group of, of experts uh, uh, and, and uh, a great firm to serve you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Uh, stop by, call me, 313-819-0101. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have because this is really a great time sell. Uh, the, the inventory or the number of homes on the market are down 44%. You know how frustrating is that for people looking for a home to find a home. But at the same time, it is a perfect time for you as a seller. If, if this is a time for you or you've been thinking about selling your home, this is the perfect time to do that. This is the year where you can make money the most on your investment. If you're thinking about downsizing, if you're thinking about, you know, moving somewhere else, this is the perfect time. How would you know that? You know, there, there are a lot of numbers online. You can go and find a lot of numbers. But you need a professional to really help you get the numbers right. We, as the real estate agents, we have access to a lot of, you know, to, to database bases to, 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 uh, appraisal numbers, not appraisal numbers, to sale numbers, to a variety of different numbers, and we can put a marketing analysis for you to tell you pretty, you know, pretty close to what you're going to get for your home and for your investment. Mm -hmm. You know, we not not only that is we help you to really prepare your home for sale, uh, get it ready, get all the uh, um, certifications. You know, whether it is a city, whether it is any other areas that you need to get the house ready for, for sale. Um, you know, it's a, what, what we provide you is a professional service to help you sell your home. Studies have shown that if you sell your home on your own, which is you could do that, and some people do that, first you have to put up with the hassle. Second, you have to answer the phone and provide all the work and, and, and the legal work. And, and studies have shown that people who sell their homes on their own make get less money for their homes because they don't have the marketing you know firms like we do to market your property and and you don't have really the expert analysis and 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 what you need to do to get the most money for your home you know of course anybody if you put your home on the market it's a good price people are gonna buy it but are you really getting what you're supposed to get for that property most likely, and the numbers numbers don't lie. The numbers show that most people who sell by owner do not get, you know, enough money for their home. So let somebody else do the job. It's a professional job. Let somebody else do it for you, and you know, you net good money, and and then you don't have to worry about it. You know, it's a hassle free. You enjoy it. Enjoy yourself, and uh, you know, this way. You really don't have to worry about it. Uh, I have a, f a few tips for you, and these are these are jobs that most experts recommend that you leave them to the pros. If you're working on your home, 
you know, you bought your home, it's your home now, and, and if you're working on your home, tree removal. Uh, you know, if they're big trees, you don't want to handle chainsaws, you don't want to handle anything like that that you can hurt yourself on, hire somebody to do it. You can always find people who will do it with, with, with you know, with, with not too much money and just ha make coffee and stand there, watch them do it. They can remove it and they can, you know, you don't have, you don't hurt yourself because you don't want to be on a ladder, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to handle equipment that you're not really used to handling. Uh, roof repairs. You don't want to be on that roof. I don't care how low it is because you're not trained to be on that roof. One fall, it could really cost you a lot and it could really do tremendous damage to your health for life. So think about that. Asbestos removal. This is, needs to be handled by the experts. And some cities and states, uh, you know, have certain regulations how you can dispose of and do. Gas, electric, and plumbing fixes. These are very dangerous stuff. Unless you know what you're doing, hire somebody to do it. You can start a fire. You can damage your home. You can get electrocuted. Don't do that. You can you can do big harm to your family. Uh, Jerry is on the line. Good morning, Jerry. Adil Hashim. Good morning, sir. Uh, beautiful morning. Thank uh, you. And uh, I'm very glad. You know, uh, your guest earlier was uh, from uh, English Garden. I did have some question for him. But I know you have a busy schedule, so yes. I just, uh, sorry. Give us, I didn't give us mean. one of them. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Khalil. Khalil, uh, what I try to say, oh, by the way, happy spring. Uh, like Thank always, um, uh, they say uh, in, 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 in Arabic, dunya rabia will go with a deer. Yeah. Uh, happy spring. Uh, Khalil, uh, I, I, if you allow me, I try to get away from the garden and from the real estate. Um, the main things right now we are facing, uh, Khalil, special in America or in Europe, and what we see in, in our uh, be beloved countries in the Middle East, the divided. We try to say united we stand, and the opposite is a disaster for everybody. Khalil, if you allow me about the historic visit of um, uh, Pope uh, Francis uh, to Egypt today. Uh, this uh, very, very Khalil, quickly, Jerry, because we don't have a lot of time. Yeah, Khalil, I just want your comments. Don't you think this uh, visit uh, could pu uh, put uh, some spotlight to bring the the Christian and the Muslim, especially in Egypt, through all, all over the world, put them close to each other when they talk uh, uh, face to face. And that's what we need, united. Yeah. We need love. Absolutely. Absolutely. We don't need Absolutely. hate. We don't need Absolutely. killing. We don't need violence. So I just want to lay that on your comments. And thank you, yeah. Khalid, for thank taking you. my call. I appreciate call. it. I appreciate it. Have I think Jerry day. brings a, a, a very, very good point. Uh, you know, that's a very historic visit, and we hope that, uh, you know, uh, he'll pray for us and pray for, for, uh, for peace. Uh, peace is really uh, uh, conducted among people. Um, you know, normally leaders, uh, no matter how much they disagree, uh, they always get together and and have uh, have a good time. You know, they they, they eat, eat and drink and, and 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 they're happy together. You know, and I always say that to all leaders, it's not what you tell other le other leaders is what you tell your own people. You know, when when you're talking to your own people, it's what you're telling them. You know, I've attended uh, uh, quite a bit of, of events where you have leaders from different, you know, different faith, different denominations, and, you know, whether they're Muslims, Christians, the Jews, whatever it is. And then when they're talking, everybody is talking about unity and everything, and when they go back to their own congregations, the story always changes. So we hope that everyone stays truthful to their message, and, you know, affiliation is one thing. Being truthful to that affiliation is what's really important. So, and we don't want to detract away from the topic that we have. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Uh, Dr. Suwan is going to be with us to talk about exercise and the benefits on the, on the mind and body. Please stay tuned. <laughs>
فريش كاري اوت جميع انواع المعجنات وايضا صواني الكمبو المشكله والصمون الحار لحوم حلال الجاليه العربيه والاسلاميه الملحمه بدائره قصاب الجاليه المعروف سلوان جربوع زوروهم على 24065 ارشد لك في مدينه فارمكتون هاوس او اتصلوا بهم على 24760300 اسواق زمزم للمداقي عنوان لجميع طلباتكم اتصلوا على 24760300 اسواق زمزم للمعامله الراقيه وكرم الضيافه عنوان آمتي ترافيل هناك من يقدم الخدمة وهناك من يصنعها آمتي ترافيل وكيل معتمد للحج والعمرة عضو منظمة آياتا رواد في الحج والعمرة آمتي ترافيل تذاكر سفر برامج عمرة طوال العام ورحلات حول العالم آمتي ترافيل تعلن عن فتح باب الحجز لآداء فريضة الحج لهذا العام بادروا بحجز أماكنكم من الآن أسعارنا متميزة وخدماتنا ممتازة آمتي ترافيل إدارة نبيل الباشا مزيد من المعلومات اتصلوا على 5865789126 5865789126 5865789126 او زورونا على 28695 راين رود في مدينه وورن اماتي ترافل للثقه عنوان ماذا يقول؟ إلى أين أذهب؟ ماذا علي أن أفعل؟ لو سمحت هل تساعدني؟ ماذا قال هذا الرجل في الإعلان؟ ألا تعرف الإنجليزية؟ أعرف ولكن أساسيات فقط عليك بتعلم اللغة ولكن أين؟ يوتيكا كوميونيتي سكول اي اس ال بروجرام اساتذه متخصصون منهج متميز يمكنك التسجيل طوال العام لرسوم التسجيل ومواعيد الفصول الدراسيه عليك الاتصال بالهاتف رقم 5867976906 5867976906 تحدث اللغة وتعلم نمط الحياة مع يوتيكا كوميونيتي سكول اي اس ال بروجرام تعلم تحدث واكثر قشات ميديترينيان ماركت بإدارة سهر قشات وأولاده يرحبون بالجالية العربية والكلدانية جميع أنواع المواد الغذائية البان طازجة الكرزات والبهارات الطازجة داخل الأسواق مطعم ميديترينيان شيش كباب يقدم يوميا جميع أنواع الكباب المقبلات العربية العراقية وصواني الكامبو المميزة تفتح الأسواق من الثامنة إلى التاسعة مساء من الاثنين وحتى السبت ومن الثامنة صباحا إلى التاسعة مساء يوم الأحد تقع الأسواق على 3239 نورث وسترن هايوي في مدينة فارمينغتون هيلث لحوم حلال للجالية الإسلامية لطلباتكم من المطعم كول 2485387855 ذا رس 2485387855 قشة ميديترينيان ماركت خدمة متميزة ومعاملة راقية بدأناه معكم وعهدناكم على أن نستمر بمزيد من المتعة والعروض الحصرية على قناتي ذي ألوان وذي أفلام ذي ألوان هي أول وأكبر قناة مسلسلات عربية هندية في أمريكا أضخم الإنتاجات مسلسلات حصرية ومع ذي أفلام فأنتم على موعد مع مغامرة جديدة كل يوم لاكتشاف سحر بولي تابعوا حصريا قناتي ذي ألوان وذي أفلام الآن في أمريكا على ديش نتورك وفلينك تي في Welcome back and thank you for being with us uh, uh, We're going to be continue We've, we've been talking about home buying We're talking about uh, how to take care of your lawn And now we're going to talk about how to take care of your mind and your body with Dr. Suwan. Good morning, Dr. Suwan. This morning, how are you, Khalil? Good, good, how are you? Oh, and thank fine. you so, so much for being with us. Oh, thank you. We are talking uh, about exercising and we are trying to inspire everybody, you know, to continue exercising or to start exercising if they didn't do this before. Yes, yes. And, and last time, you know, we talked about simple exercises, and let's remind our listeners, uh, you know, we were talking about walking, we were talking about, you know, biking, and, and you know, what are the main benefits of doing those? You know, we, we were talking about how exercising may improve cardiovascular health, and yep. also to 
skeletal muscles and we will just break bodies with exercising as well but you know you know that regardless of the age or fitness level studies show that making time for exercise provides some serious mental benefits we, sure. we know that sure. exercising may reduce stress and we talked about how exercise uh, increases concentrations of norepinephrine uh, a chemical that can moderate the brain's function and also we talked about you know how endorphins also will be released and these are the happy chemicals so we will feel happier when we exercise and we talked about how exercise may improve self-confidence and it will let us also enjoy the great outdoors and we talked about something extremely important how exercising may prevent cognitive decline. You know that as we get older, you know, we start, you know, like having, we, we may start having, you know, memory issues and, you know, some, um, you know, I would say uh, forgetfulness and stuff like that. And this I thought Marin to, did that. Oh, Marin? Oh, I didn't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, as a matter I thought of fact, marriage did no. that. Oh, okay. So it is old age. It has marriage has yeah, to do with I that. I think it's old age for me. So <laughs> also, you know, exercise may may help you know people who are anxious and depressed, and it will alleviate uh, anxiety and depression. Um, you know, we talked about exercise, how it would sharpen the memory and how it helps control addiction. And we actually stopped at the addiction part of it, and we were talking about dopamine. And we, we said that dopamine, it is actually the chemical transmitter that is released in the brain in response to any form of pleasure, including, including, and not limited to, uh, I would say, of course, exercise, uh, sex, uh, drugs, alcohol, or even food. Uh, some people, some people are addicted, you know, to substances and they cannot find their pleasure except, you know, if they keep drinking alcohol or if they keep taking the drugs. So sure, I sure. would say that exercise would help, you know, to reduce the addiction or to control the addiction or I would say it can help in addiction recovery and, you know, that's how. Uh, first of all, um, you know when you know when people are uh, addicted and dependent on the substance to produce dopamine, we can produce dopamine by exercising. So Absolutely, you know, this, yeah. Will, yeah, this will compensate us, you know, in 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 a way or another, you know, to produce dopamine in another way rather than you know like. Uh, you know, drinking alcohol or, you know, taking the drugs. Sure, sure, so in a natural way. way. Yeah. yeah, this is yeah. one way. And also, also, it may distract addicts, you know, like short, um, you know, like uh, sessions of exercising. It may distract addicts by making them deprioritize, uh, de uh, you know, like a craving to, um, you know, to alcohol or to drugs. And also, there is something extremely important. Those people who are addicted to alcohol, Khalil, uh, the problem that, you know, they may have some issues with their circadian rhythm and, you know, how alcohol, you know, they cannot fall asleep or stay asleep without a drinking. So they will wake up and, you know, they will keep drinking or they will not be able to go to sleep to start with and they will keep drinking. So what would happen that exercise would help reboot the body clock, helping people to, to go back to their circadian rhythm where they will be able to sleep and this will actually prevent them from, you know, like overconsumption of alcohol. So I think how many, that, how many How many times a week should we exercise? You know, uh, I think that every day, <laughs> I would say that, you know, usually like three to four times a week. And, you know, remember that, you know, there are so many types of exercise in Khalil. And I have seen everything, you know, like from people who are just doing aerobics and then, you know, like doing aerobics, you know, it, like in few days and then, you know, like strengthening, exercising, you know, in other days. And I have seen people who are mixing, you know, um, aerobic exercises with strengthening exercises at the same time. 
And to tell sure. you the truth, sure. I found I found this is the best way, you know, and I have been trying this with myself as well because you know what would happen that you will be increasing, you know, your body temperature when you are doing the aerobics and when you are doing the strengthening exercises. It will be, you know, like it, you will be in a better situation to burn calories while you're doing that. And also you will not get bored. You know, I mean, like people who are just doing aerobics, you know, like straight aerobics, you know, all, you know, like specific days. And then uh, they will do, you know, other exercises and, uh, you know, like during other days. They will feel bored, you know, with one type of exercise. So I think that, you know, like mixing and matching, you know, would be the best. And I think that we can do, you know, like any anywhere from, you know, like three times a week to six or seven times a week. I mean, you know. Sure, sure. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, we should, you know, there is something extremely important. Um, there is a study that found that... Um, there is a research that shows that workers who take time to exercise on a regular basis are more productive and Absolutely. have more energy Absolutely. than yeah. those who are having sedentary life, you know. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, even with exercise, you will get smarter. You you will get, you know, more stuff done. And, you know, also it will increase the relaxation. I mean, after, you know, like a session of exercise and or work uh, workout, it's really, you know, better than a sleeping cell because, you know, like even people who have insomnia and they cannot sleep, moving around, you know, like um, and exercising um, uh, before bedtime, it will increase your body core temperature. And when the body temperature drops back to normal a few hours later, it signals, you know, the body that it's time to, to sleep. So, and you know, people who are exercising, they sleep better, they eat better, and they they get smarter, and everything Absolutely. will be better Absolutely. in life. So yeah. I'm, I'm you know, even I, happier when I exercise. Yeah, I know. So what type of exercise do you do? I play volleyball uh, twice a week, uh, two hours each time, so that's four hours. And Saturdays, Sundays, you know, we either run or uh, bike. You know, we have a stationary bike. We, I also play tennis with, uh, you know, I take the family and I'm teaching my son how to play tennis. So I play oh, tennis a couple of times. And this is, you know, inspiring for other people. You inspire your yeah. family, you inspire yeah. your friends. And being a part of a team, whether in a yeah. group class or yeah. them or running, yeah. you know, yeah. running with your family or kids or anything like that. Yeah. You know, something like this, it has lots of and may Sounds inspire, good. you know. Yeah. People, yeah. and you are inspired, you know, by other people yeah. as well. Absolutely. The end Absolutely. result and is self-confidence yeah. and thinking smarter. And unfortunately, we're running out of time, and we're going to have to continue this discussion. We want to thank you for being with us, Dr. Suwan, is always very informative and very thoughtful. And you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Uh, our listeners as well, we want to thank you for being with us. This has been a, a great hour Thank you so much, and we will see you next month. Bye now. Thank you, Khalil. Next time we will be talking about core exercises. Absolutely, absolutely. Bye now.